Hey, it's Simon Fruit Danny. So something I wanted to talk about is something that I became aware of quite some time ago when I ended up with some heavy metal toxicity issues. And that is giving you a warning that stainless steel cookware is highly, highly toxic, unlike what a lot of people out there actually share online and other informational platforms and social media platforms as well. So yeah, I was someone that had this belief that 316L stainless steel, which is like a medical stainless steel grade of stainless steel, is one of the highest quality stainless steel out there that you can get, is not just pure stainless steel. And I remember my girlfriend Sophie that I was with in the past, she had loads of clean canteen drinking containers. And I absolutely loved these. I'd seen them before and always wanted them. And then when my health started to deteriorate and I started to have some heavy metal toxicity issues, I did some research more extensively than I had done in the past to see what was actually in stainless steel cookware and other stainless steel containers out there like the clean canteen that I've mentioned. And when I looked into it, I was shocked to find out that it also contains toxic nickel, molybdenum, and chromium in the inorganic metal form. Because molybdenum from plant foods, any specific supplementation form are completely safe and non-toxic to take. And the same with chromium as well. But these three metals that I've just mentioned are in their metal form, which your body cannot absorb and use. Instead, they deposit around different parts within your body and within your brain as well. And they are widely known to cause such a wide array of serious health effects on you mentally and physically short term and long term. So yeah, they'll do things such have a negative effect on your immune system. They will stop your body producing an abundance of neurotransmitters such as dopamine, serotonin, neuroepinephrine, epinephrine, and all of these other feel good neurotransmitters that optimize your cognitive function and also your mental health and your mood. And yeah, it also makes the body more acidic, it has a negative effect on a whole host of things within your mind and body holistically. And what I do is I put a link down below to a website that goes into more detail of what these toxic heavy metals can do to your health holistically and other different ones as well. I highly recommend that you do your research into heavy metal toxicity if you're someone that's not already very, very aware of this because everyone out there has issues with heavy metal toxicity unless they've done some extensive heavy metal detoxification. And for me to resolve, the toxicity issues I had with heavy metals. I did the iodine mega dose protocol that I put a link for up above for the video. And if you're someone that actually needs some professional help with embarking on that iodine mega dose protocol and getting a full on custom supplementation program created for you to give you all the nutrients that you need to actually eliminate all of the heavy metals in the most safe and effective way possible, I put a link down below to a website that can actually create custom supplementation programs for you. And I personally work with this company. And yeah, we've seen time and time again that people with these custom supplementation programs that we create get amazing results time and time again for eliminating heavy metals, but also to give the body nutrients so it can detoxify itself as effectively as possible and to optimize the immune system, hormone production, neurotransmitter production, sleep, and a whole host of other benefits as well. So you may be thinking, well, what am I meant to do then? Because I actually did a lot of research out there and thought, wow, what, what cookware can I use that is actually non-toxic out there? And I did research for hours and hours and hours about two years ago, and it was really hard to find some non-toxic cookware. And I finally did, and that is Vision Cookware. And I actually have two of these pots, one small one and a big one, and it's made out of a glass material. And it's really, really safe for anyone that is concerned. I spoke to some women that had these pots for over 20 years and they still hadn't broken. So as long as you don't drop them on the floor or hit them on something, then they're absolutely fine. And they're really nice looking, well, I think so as well. And it just makes the food taste a lot better as well because when you're cooking in pots and pans that release certain metals into it, it does actually have a negative effect on the taste of the food. So yeah, this is something that I highly recommend and I've used for around two years and I absolutely love them. 
And yeah, if you're more based within America or UK, you can get access to them very, very easily. In other countries, it's not gonna be so easy. In Thailand, it's not so easy. I did find somewhere, but I paid a lot more money than what you would do for the standard RRP prices in America or even in England. So what I do is I put some links down below for the Vision Cookware, and I highly recommend if you are cooking food that you do use these because you wanna be, removing all sources of toxicity within your diet and your lifestyle as much as possible. And this is one a lot of people are not aware of. And don't be using things such as cast iron cookware or copper cookware, any type of metal cookware is not good for you. A lot of people cooking things such as copper cookware because they think they need the additional copper, but again, it's the metal in organic form that your body cannot use and utilize. And the same with the iron caskets that a lot of people use in skillets. Mm -mm -mm. You want iron from plant-based forms ideally and other foods out there that can supply you with natural forms of iron preferably. And what I'll say to you all is, I was someone that did detoxification for years and years and years, did all types of water fasting, got into urine therapy, doing coffee enemas, juicing, raw food, diets, liver and gallbladder cleanses, kidney cleanses, so different things and correcting nutritional deficiencies and so forth. They really got me to a high level of health, but I found that I didn't get to the highest level of health once I eliminated all of the heavy metals throughout my body. And I was someone that suffered more with mercury and aluminium toxicity issues. Each different person out there is gonna have different heavy metal toxicity issues due to so many factors and variables. So yeah, if you want to optimize your health, you need to get rid of them. And what I say is there's a lot of methods out there that people use for eliminating heavy metals that are really not that effective. But through the iodine megatose protocol, it gives your body all of the nutrients it needs to remove all different types of heavy metals throughout the whole body. So this is why it's so, so effective. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below as always. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And yeah, if you like the video, like it down below. Please share it with others. Don't forget to subscribe to receive more videos from me on a regular basis. And I am gonna be posting them a lot more consistently from this point forward. So yeah, you can expect to receive a lot more health-based informational videos from me, detoxification videos, videos also about my life and what's going on for me in Thailand, Koh Phangan, where I live currently at this moment on this amazing tropical island. And yet all different other videos help you learn of many different things to help improve your health and your life holistically. So if this type of video sound good to you, make sure you click that subscribe button, you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise YouTube are not gonna notify you of when new videos are uploaded. So as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.